All right, guys, we just had some sheep drop. Literally, she just had them. Had twins. We're gonna go look at them now for the first time. You're looking at them with me for the very first time. Mama's still got the afterbirth hanging out. I don't wanna stress her out too much. Here she is. They're already up nursing. Good girl, Mama. Good girl. Both trying to milk. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. You're okay, Mama. You're okay. No. That one's got really pretty spots. Probably. Twins are definitely smaller. Don't get too close to her. She's stressed. Let them milk. Once they get up on the teat and start milking, they're really strong. We do a as much as a hands-off thing as we can. We don't want to. We don't want to get them trained to needing us. So I'm leaving my the distance away from her, but she's a good mom. She's cleaned them up. They're standing up. Of course she's had them, and it's going to be the coldest week of the year But <laughs> ahead. But we bought them bread. Uh, we wouldn't choose to have them right now, but that's just the way it is. So God's blessed us here. Twin babies. Good mama. They're getting their legs to them. They're very unsteady, but this is live in action. There it goes. Once you see its tail start wagging and it's milking. Good girl, mama. Get over here, Spotty. It's getting its little legs under it. It's amazing how quick they drop them and they can start standing up and milking. They, these are amazing animals. It's a little bit unsteady. Get over there. It wants to. <laughs> but I guess in nature if they don't get up and go something's going to get them that's why they're so tough we had a lamb yesterday drop in the rain and it was fine last night at 35 degrees outside wet ground perfectly fine this morning they've got shelter but honestly they choose really not to go in there it's trying to milk the front There it goes, now it's in the right spot. She's getting a little bit stressed with us being around, so I'm keeping my distance from her. I've got the camera zoomed in a little bit. Good girl. Is that curly? I can't tell. I 
once their tails start going, you know they've made it. They've made connection. You're okay, Mama. other sheep and goats are just kind of standing over here like what the heck is going on the baby from yesterday there's the lamb he's laid up watching them he's the lamb oh is that oh no around right here to give her space we'll go look for the other one got to move them today we've been we've had them in here for about a week uh try to keep them rotated pretty good especially with all this rain we've had it's absolutely poured on us the other one is right here sorry for my blurry finger she's on uh she's on mom there she's getting plenty of milk she's already big and she was born yesterday and if you can kind of tell again she's right here under she's a whole lot bigger than these little individuals i don't know if her boys or girls yet but with twins they're smaller and here's elsa checking us out so oh we might get a latch right here this baby looks determined oh nope going to the front again trying to <laughs> we got these sheep from a guy uh, rolling O farm and he wasn't real sure um, he said they'll start dropping within the next few weeks and that was the first of December again I, he's in Alabama so it's a little bit easier to kid or to lamb this early but for me without a barn it's it's not ideal oh spotty's made a latch Nope, I thought it had. It's looking, and it's not ideal not to have a barn out here. Uh, we do have this shed and another shed for them to go in, but it's not the same as having an actual barn. Uh, it's supposed to be really cold this week, and you can see I've got some hay covered up right here. This is a greenhouse. I'm gonna put all my animals around that because it's supposed to be really, really cold, and this is three, lambs that we've had in the past day like less than 24 hours so they're going to be dropping this weekend and this week so i'm going to get them into a, as warm of an area as i can uh high up mama here's a little, a little lamb that was the one that was born yesterday we got home it was soaked in the rain she didn't have it in the shed of course she had it out in the rain but you can see it's up it's running around it's looking strong She's a good mom. You are. She's kind of freaked out by the whole deal, too. Um, it's, uh, this is just another testament to the glory of God and what he does for us and how he blesses us continually. We've got great little animals here. We've got great goats, great sheep. And it, it's just a joy and pleasure to get to work with them but you can see how much standing water we have oh they're about to make contact spotty here i'm ready to go up there and grab them and see if it's a boy or girl but i want them to get some milk colostrum in them first because that it's super potent powerful for them oh i think I think he's on. If not, he's very close. I'm saying he. I'm not sure if it's a he or she yet. 
The little lamb we had yesterday, this one directly in front right here, is a little you, a little girl. Um, good sized, long legs, look at her, jumping around, happy. And I just think about it, if it was a human, man, it's about 45, 50 degrees out here, 55 right now. If we had a little human baby and no blanket or clothes to put on them, I mean, they're just, they'd freeze to death. But these sheep are made to survive. They're the ultimate homestead farming animal. And I mean, you can see the forage that we've got. We overplayed our hand a little bit with what we've got, but they're making a survival off of it. Minimal hay. Um, it's really good. Spotty is very close. I think the afterbirth is <laughs> getting, throwing them off a little bit. I'll be honest, she looks like she might be a first time mother based on her. She's unsure about letting them milk, but usually first time mothers don't have twins. So I'm not sure. She's still cleaning up and licking on them. You can tell when they latch, their little tails just go to town. And it's amazing. They're not taught to get up and look for that, but it's instinctive. It's, it's in their DNA, their genes. And that's something that's amazing. God created them the way that they are. And look at them. They're looking all over for that teeth. Oh, it's so close. Come on, baby. There it is. It's getting really close if she'll stand still. There it goes. It just got it. It just got it. I'm not sure if you can see. Its little tail is going. Spotty still hasn't got with the program yet. It's still trying to milk the front. Spotty will get up there next. Hope it's off now. So looking for it again. After that first, there it goes. It found it twice. It's good to go now. And I'm not concerned about it. Spotty will get up there. But you want it sooner rather than later because them calories, they represent a, it's like a little furnace. It starts to heat them. And that's, they insulate the heat that they produce from inside from what they eat. And in this case, drink. Spot, Spotty's on. If not, yep, Spotty is on. So both of them have attached or latched, I guess is a better term. They're drinking their milk. Mom's letting them. And we're all good. That afterbirth will come out on its own. It's really tempting to see it hanging there and be like, man, I want to get that off of her, but it's better to let it do naturally. If it's still there tomorrow, then I'll look at uh, doing something. But I think she's good to go. The babies are good. They're, I believe they're both milking. You can, I don't know if you can see their little tail. It's right where her head is. Little tail just going to town. She's still cleaning them up. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't have another one drop this evening. So, with that, I thank you. Hope you have a blessed day. God's good. It's always good to see little babies dropping and being healthy and strong. I'll see you around.